Hi. Um, so I might be wondering what's going on uh, where Chiva is um, or where the episode is. <laughs> well, we recorded the episode. Yeah, it went well. Had great laughs, a bunch of goofs. Um, but I forgot to hit record on the camera. So we are left with the audio version for today's YouTube channel. Uh, thank you for, for today's YouTube episode. Thank you for joining us. And um, I hope you... Uh, I'm sorry. I just... My over here actually was the one that fucked up and uh, didn't hit record. Um, we've just been trying to cope with his um, disability of, you know, just being ahead. Um, but to make it up, at some point in the episode, uh, we mentioned um, a former Mexican coach, I guess. Former Mexican coach uh, for the national team. And um, we're going to go ahead and find who, out who it is. Go ahead and send us the YouTube clip of you watching it. Uh, DM us. And uh, we're going to go ahead and give away a, uh, I don't know, a $30 gift card to Soccer Logo. So you can get yourself something loyal, uh, some new you know, cleats, uh, a ball, whatever you want. Um, but yeah, so go ahead and uh, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and uh, enjoy the rest of the audio version. Oh, uh, sorry. Welcome to Two Balls and a Mic, episode 28. Today we're going to go ahead and go over Champions League and the quarterfinals are now set. Uh, we're going to go ahead and also talk about MLS's back cup, the final, la final. You predicted it correctly. I thought I did, but not you. But, but uh, We're also going to go ahead and move into Pirlo, moving into uh, Juventus. There you Juventus, go. Thank you. Manager. Uh, Sancho not going anywhere. William going somewhere. And Matuidi also going to a different somewhere. Mexican League. We're going to go ahead and talk about Las Chivas, Super Chivas, Tena out, Busetich in. We're going to go ahead and talk about SD Loyal and their second, uh, second right? Postponed their game. second postponed game from Los, uh, Los Dos. And this time it was Las Vegas Lights. And then MLB, Tatis is just killing it. So much so, Shiva knows who he is. We're going to go ahead and talk about M uh, NBA and how you won the bet. Clippers won. I mean, Clippers lost. Clippers yeah. won. Um, but geez, Louise. Uh, Let's start with Champions League, man. Like, so before we do that, like, we're we're, we're Champions League is is happening right now. We also have uh, as we're recording, we're in the hundred and second minute of uh, Manchester, Manchester United, United versus Copenhagen. Uh, Copenhagen came with extra time, man. I can't believe that. But uh, yeah. man, used up one nothing with the penalty shot by the, our very own. Bruno Fernandes Bruno Fernandes Doesn't miss He doesn't And uh, they were saying that he's one of the Wow, what a miss uh, They were yeah. saying that he's the signing Best signing since Eric Cantona I ah, disagreed man, a little I bit know, uh, I mean, David De Gea Is pretty pretty good for you guys Yeah, De Gea, Pogba, Martial I disagree with Pogba I think you guys sh should Should expect a bigger return from, from Pogba Because of the quality of player he is, dude, he's one of the best midfielders in the world. Yeah, hundred percent. But he plays. He should be the best midfielder in, in the world. Is my thing. The mm. best midfielder in the world, and he's just simply not. Um, he's not the best, but he's up there. He, yeah, he's definitely up there. Pero, I mean, I think uh, as a midfielder, yeah, you should be able to command the defense. But if you're having to have someone like Matic help you out at the back, and you know, you're not really creating like you were in Juventus. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, you know. I can see that. I can see the argument being made. But let's talk about Champions League first, man. Champions the League Champions! came back. Uh, we had the round of 16, the second leg, finally being done. So now we have our set quarterfinals. We had Manchester City against Real Madrid. City. Manchester City. And, dude, so Varane uh, fucking sucks. I mean. Without Ramos on the field? I mean, I guess. It's Why? one of those. Yeah, I mean, it's. It's hard to watch <laughs> the first the first one. I don't know what he was doing. Like he should have just get rid of it. 
get rid of it. The second one, I think it was with the header with uh, yeah, him missing the ball on. completely. All right, cool. Once the ball bounces, he looks back and then he clearly sees uh, Sergio, uh, Gabriel Jesus uh, right behind him. So he does this still, and then still he tries still to header, tries to header oh, it man. back. At that point, he just had to go ahead and, and, and you know, just clear it. But I will say Gabriel Jesus did make a pretty good play to score. Courtois kind of stayed just standing there. Um, but Manchester City moves on 2-1. to one. Um, Which you predicted, by the way. I, I actually predict. thought Madrid was going to be able to pull it off. Uh, I thought Rodrigo played a hell of a game. And he got taken uh, out. He got taken out. Uh, Benzema scored, who, I mean, he's probably been Real Madrid's best player since we came back from the break. And, I mean, I expect more from this Real Madrid. This is Zidane's first Champions League that he gets kicked off, kicked out. Yeah, playoffs pretty much. Yeah, so it's insane. Um, after winning three consecutive Champions Leagues, you're finally out. So we'll see. What, we'll see what happens with Real Madrid in the future. And then there were reports at the end of the game where uh, they stayed talking at the end. Yeah, they stayed talking at the end. Uh, what do you think they were talking about? You see all the memes. I mean, I see. All, I saw all the memes. They said not shampoo. Yeah, like. <laughs> What gelette do you use? <laughs> um, nah, just imagine the conversation they were having though about the actual game. Like, <sighs> who was teaching who? I mean, I think Guardiola's teaching. You see that? Definitely. I mean, if they were them, I mean, Pep was probably tired. You probably saw the. Cooler. I mean, both their both their soccer IQ is out of this world. Definitely, but as a coach, I mean, I think Zidane was a better player, obviously, than mm-hmm. Guardiola. But did Guardiola's Zidane ever ever play for Dorados de Sinaloa? Or Dorados at Tijuana? I don't, I I don't believe so. so. I don't so, think so. so. With, with, did he ever play with Rafa Marquez? Nope. Oof. Nope. Damn. So, all right. Uh, Pep Guardiola, better player than Zidane, will ever and have has ever been. Um, <laughs> but no, so yeah, they stayed together. Together. They stayed talking after. Um, yeah, man. After that, so 2-1, Man City goes through. Then you had Juventus, uh, Juventus Ronaldo, who man. won the game 2-1, to one, but... Based on the away goal, Lyon had scored 1-0. Or, no, yeah, they had scored so, one. So this is why Ronaldo's the best player in the world, man. Mm-hmm. He always puts the team on his back. Sadly, it wasn't enough this time, but mm-hmm. he scored both goals for Juventus. He's 35 years old. Yeah, I mean. Pelé at 35 was already going to the right. MLS. Maradona at 35 went back to Argentina. They also, like, drank. And smoke cigarettes like after every game and that, know, that, to different endurance, and different. Not really. I think the you game did. is more competitive now than it was before, and this is why. Yeah, I'm not scared of that. saying Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo is the greatest of all time. Oh God damn it! It is. He is no. the greatest of all time. 35, no. 34 years old, no. still scoring so many goals in Europe. Greatest what of all time? Greatest left winger. Greatest soccer player of all time. Greatest Portuguese. No, greatest soccer player of all time, man. Greatest, I mean, no. I mean, how could you be the greatest of all time? Passing Maradona, passing Pele, passing all, all those legends. How could you be the best player of all time? Most when you're, when Champions you're, League goals, 130 Champions League goals. How when Messi be, has 115. How can you be the best soccer player of all time if you're not the, even the best soccer player in your generation? He is. No. Nope. He is. No. Nope. Messi is the best pure nope. soccer player, <sighs> best overall soccer player. I mean, Messi has. It's, uh, bro, dude, Messi's wait, gifted. Wait, He's gifted. Wait. I get it. I get it. He's gifted. I get it. Ronaldo but, play. I, Ronaldo trains. I get it. I get it. I get it. Ronaldo works at his craft. I get it. I get it. I get it. If Messi put as much work as Ronaldo did, Messi would be the greatest. But he doesn't, and he's still better than Ronaldo. He's not better than Ronaldo, bro. Yeah, he is. He's not. Yeah, he's not. Uh, look. People have I been, appreciate the effort and the work Ronaldo people, puts in. I do Messi too. walks in the field. I, I get it. He's yeah. gifted. He's God yeah. gifted. So is Ronaldo. Yeah. Pick, pick your God spot. Gifted. Pick your spot. But uh, I'd, rather, I'd rather have the hard worker. Pick your spot, bro. Podcasts have come and gone. Existed and unexisted. And this is from like the past 20, 15 years, whatever. And this is still the argument. And, and we're never going to have a concrete answer. You're going to have your answer. I'm going to have my answer. And we're not going to get anywhere. And people are tired of it. Here's the thing. At the end of the day, yes. Messi's better. No, oh, uh, oh, moving on. Bro, uh, what's, no. I mean, Messi's still in the Champions League. Right. Talk, speaking about Champions League. So, uh, Ronaldo with a 2-1. Uh, Ronaldo U- United, I guess, Juventus, uh, could not go yeah, up against a, goal, man. a young Lyon team who... 
It's surprising. Uh, could be the next the Ajax this I mean, year. I mean, dude, Juventus dominated the whole game. Uh, they probably got they got the penalty to score that one goal. Couldn't get it done though. Yeah, they couldn't get it done. Couldn't Sadly, get it done for Mr. Champions League. He's out. It's not the same having the Champions League without Ronaldo in, but yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, that, that, that's fine. But now, speaking of the greatest player on, on earth and of all time, uh, probably Lionel Messi. Even then, it's debatable. I, I wouldn't even put these two. So, VAR played a role in this game. Yes. Uh, yes. Please tell me more about how VAR ruins the game. Uh, it, you see, you texted me at that time, like, VAR sucks, it takes too long. And I was actually telling my friends at that time, yes, VAR, it's taking too long. It mm-hmm. is taking too long. But the idea of it is, is, is what the game needs. It's just they need to fix it to a point where it doesn't take as long. Uh, well, when we get to that point, I might be a little bit more open to VAR. Yeah, but, but I mean, you now. have to start somewhere. You have to start somewhere for it. I mean, Langlet's goal shouldn't have counted. Long Th- There was a foul. He pushed off. Player bumped into Colibali. Langlet was open and scored the header. Uh, they canceled Messi's second goal, uh, which was rightfully uh, taken away. Mm-hmm. Since since it hit his hand, mm-hmm. and then the VAR for Messi's penalty. I mean, so three times VAR played a role in Barcelona scoring. Uh, I think the time that it took, that the time that it took to get the call right, I get it. Even then, the, I don't it know was why it took so long on that penalty. It was question. No, I'm talking about Messi's Messi's handball. It was questionable. Yeah, it was questionable. But even then, like it's one of those things, like in NFL, like you can't overturn a play unless you have unquestionable That's a evidence good point. that and is a good point i don't i i saw that from a couple of angles and i don't think there was unquestionable evidence that it hit his hand that it hit his hand and I, I, it I took like that. too good. long for them to figure it out if it's there it's there if it's not it's not keep playing yeah, they need to take notes from uh, nfl something nfl maybe has right Rest in peace, Kamala, wwe legend uh just seeing it on twitter oh man um uh, it was a, an incredibly, incredibly racist uh, character he played. Uh, Kamala used to have two stars on his chest and a moon on his tummy. Uh, fun fact about this, it's a yellow moon. He went, went, went up to Mr. McMahon because he's a uh, African-American gentleman from Philadelphia. And he said, Vince McMahon, I think I love the character and all, but I think it's offensive that you have me wearing a banana painted on my tummy. Oh, and man. then Vince McMahon was like, oh, hold on, buddy. Hold on, pal. Man. It's actually the moon, pal. He's like, oh, okay. Sorry for the misunderstanding. Anyway, rest in peace. Oh, man. Um, but anyways. Anywho, I mean, Chucky Lozano llegó at the end. Didn't really play play didn't a role. Much, didn't do much, honestly. Um, uh, but dude, like overall, it was a pretty fun game to watch. It was a really good fun. It was a fun game and everything. And again, it, the quality of play uh, could be better. There's obviously those teams that are way, 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 way ahead of the curve. Uh, right now, it was still uh, Manchester United 1-0, who was struggling against the Copenhagen Hogan team. I don't know about struggling. They were struggling. Wait, pinche que Ah, that one play. That's it, man. Uh, uh, other than that. But yeah, it was just that one play. They were but talking about, again, finishing with Champions League. Uh, so that Barcelona game ended 3-1. Yeah, Barcelona so let's moves talk about the forward. greatest player in Europe at the moment. Robert Lewandowski. What a beast. I mean... Uh, <laughs> two goals, two assists. Aggregate seven one. It's not going to be as bad as a uh, two goals, two assists on the game against yeah, Chelsea. Wait, I mean, uh, dude, like Ballon de Oro winner by far this season. Unofficial, it, it, unofficial Ballon de Oro winner, man. I heard a conspiracy out there that the reason that they canceled the Ballon de Oro was because they couldn't give it to Messi or Ronaldo. That's what I've heard too. So uh, I don't, I don't know. FIFA, we're on to you. It's actually not FIFA. It's UEFA. No, Ballon de Oro. No, you know what it is? What? It's actually just like a imagine the Union Tribune having a Ballon d'Or. Oh. It's the El L'Equipe, L E. Ballon I'm pretty sure it's FIFA Ballon d'Or. Yeah, but it's selected by the L'Equipe. It's it's that one's vote is they vote on it, right? Yeah. So every year they have those uh so it's FIFA Ballon d'Or. <sighs> and this, 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 so, this, so it's an award by FIFA. Oh, it's awarded Jointly, a joint, joint awarded jointly by France football. Ah, oh, that's why it's d'or, like French. Yes, 
Interesting. Uh, but yeah, yeah Lewandowski should have won that by far. Should have uh, won that. I like how we're avoiding the actual game. I think I mean, Bayern, I Bayern is going to exactly. play Barcelona, uh, which is going to be I think it'll be a fireworks. The champion comes out. I think so too. Yeah. Unless I mean I don't see. Wait, no, wait, no, no, no. Manchester City is taking this. No, Manchester City is no, no, taking no. this. There's no way. Manchester City is taking this. There's no way. Um, because what is this? Yeah. So City plays Leon. City which is plays be a Leon. tough game. And see, we're overlooking the other two because there's still two other games. So we're in quarterfinals. There's eight teams left. Mm-hmm. Uh, Barcelona, Bayern, Friday, 14th. But before that, on Wednesday the 12th, we have uh, Paris Saint Germain versus Atalanta, which is going to be a great game. PSG without Mbappe, right? He might, he might play. He might play. He may play. Um, so, yeah, so Mbappe, who did get just destroyed uh, in uh, yeah. a couple of weeks ago, like, could have ended uh, his season right then and there. Uh, the other game that we have Atalanta is... Atalanta, uh, who scored... This is a scoring, scoring machine. Red Bulls, Leipzig versus uh, Atletico Madrid. I Leipzig's think. done. Timo Werner's not playing. Yeah. He's done. Leipzig's yeah. done. Atletico should be able to handle that game pretty easily. Definitely. In my opinion. Red Bulls. Uh, I know you're going to roll your eyes at this. Uh, Red Bulls, who also have a F1 Formula race team. Uh, Max Verstappen uh, won uh, Silverbury, Silver something, Silver Strand. Uh, oh, and uh, to went into the show. to pole position. Uh, I've I've recently binge watched all of the F one formula on Netflix and mm-hmm. I can't stop talking about it. Uh, go Max Verstappen. I like saying the names. I, I figured see, out why. I don't see F one on the keep. Uh, I'll go ahead and add F one for next time, buddy. We'll have a whole segment on. Cool. We can make a poll to see how many F one fans we have. Uh, probably more than baseball fans, honestly. At this really? point, but I mean, I was disheartened. When uh, you people said that you guys don't like uh, baseball as much as uh, I Thank do. You. Um, Thank you. I'm finally no, look, it's 50%, man. It's 50% of people who liked it, 50% of didn't. who didn't. Are we really going to divide the country on this? The country, that's that's the how the country. country is. Like, it's 50 50. You, can, you cannot ignore 50%, the other 50%. All right, so let's do some match predictions for the quarterfinals. So All right. We Atalanta versus PSG. Uh, and it, these are one game, yeah, right? There's only one game, game Corona. One game. Correct. Uh, I like this, actually. I really like this because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm uh, aggregates in this. I it's, love it's, it's World Cup I love it. I love it. Yeah. Uh, Paris, Paris Central Man is going to win. Score, uh, score prediction? 3-1. Three, 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 I'm going to ask Beverly how to say it. I'm going to have Beverly say Paris Saint Germain. I'm going to have a button and he's going to... So, this is my prediction. Ready? Um... It's going to be a 2-2 game. Mm-hmm. Go to penalties. Wow. PSG is going to take any big PKs. Okay. Okay. That's uh, a lot of things have to happen right for that prediction to work. But all right. We got Leipzig against Atletico Madrid. It's going to be a boring-ass 1-0. <sighs> yes. Boring. 1-0. Atletico is going to win. Mm-hmm. It might even be 2-0. I'm going to say 2-0. Okay. Yeah, Atletico is a more defensive team. Leipzig, who do not have their star striker, who just got sold to Chelsea. Congratulations. Uh, finally saw him on that blue jersey. Looks that. amazing. Se prendió el tono. Next to um, Zijek. The boy. Zijek. Yeah, Tony. Tony se prendió. But yeah, Atletico Madrid is going to go ahead and take this one easy. Yeah, I think I think it will be one nothing, 2-1 maybe. Two so one far. Be exciting. Okay. So far, Barcelona, we Bayern. I think Barcelona is going to win. Wow, you're going, you're going Barca. You're going the Messi. best player of all time is going to kick it into a different gear, okay. and he's going to prove himself yet again. And uh, point, run to the camera, point, and say, "Ha, Ronaldo!" It is. Last time they goal. faced each other was a semifinal where Barcelona crapped on Bayern, where yes. Messi broke what thanks ankles. Yes, back in 2015. Yes. Uh, which which, which like destroyed five years ago. his this wow think about it five years destroyed ago man destroyed Boateng's uh, career honestly Dude, from there it's been downhill straight up but how how what do you think the score is gonna be two one Barcelona wow Robert is gonna have a game so I'm going Bayern of course mm-hmm. uh, the way I saw Barca play against Napoli was pretty impressive yeah. But the way I saw Napoli attack Barcelona's weak defense, they just couldn't finish the dagger. Are Barcelona underdogs in this game? I believe they probably will be. 
since Bayern's champions. Because they're Germany. steamrolling, man. Like, uh, I mean, obviously, like I, I, I've been saying that this game, like, was going to go the way it went, especially then after losing everybody in the FA Cup from Chelsea. Like, it, it was just not gonna, never going to end well. Yeah. Um, but you know, Bar- Bayern's had a an easy unstoppable year, an unstoppable year. But this last restart corona with the bundesliga and everything they've had it pretty easy maybe they played uh, dortmund once um but other than that they really haven't been challenged for anything and for barcelona Nap- napoli was a winner of the copa italia okay chelsea so you say napoli, shit napoli is better than chelsea yes wow yes wow yes really yeah right now yeah uh, interesting. Next year, I don't know, but the, but but el plantel, the the squad that Napoli has overall, Kulaboli. You think Napoli would have beat Chelsea if they would have played each other in the Champions League? It would be. I I, I think so. Yeah. Wow. I think so. I think it's a lot of good to say. I mean, wait. It's true. It's we true. weren't supposed to be fourth. Like this team. I mean, <clears throat> we weren't supposed to be anywhere getting near. Getting off topic. Getting off topic with Premier League again. Uh, Bayern. Uh-huh. I think Bayern's gonna win. I'm gonna go with. Uh, Three nothing win for Bayern Munich. Damn. I think, I honestly think Davis is gonna shut down Messi. Davis Imagine. is the future of left backs. Okay, and he's faster than Messi. Mm-hmm. And if he, Messi happens to pass him, you also got a lava playing center back right now, which he's gonna do just fine handling Messi. So I'm going. I'm going with Bayern. I'm going Bayern three nothing against okay. Barcelona. So that's the first one we disagree. And then I guess you don't City think highly Leon. of City and Lyon. Are you going with Lyon or are you going with City? I'm going with Lyon. Okay. I'm going All right. with Lyon. I can't, I, can't, I can't root for City. I can't predict City win. Okay. I, I think they are going to win, but I'm going to go with Lyon. Because I'm going to look like a genius if Lyon happens to win that one. I mean, yeah. Uh, I, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm right, I'm, fuck. Shit. I, I don't blame you. You're, you're, you're going... Super underdog here, and I'm gonna go one one. And these are all on 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 a neutral grounds too. Yeah, I mean there yeah, really they're isn't they're any home field Portugal. advantage. They're all in Portugal, but yeah, everybody's in Lisbon. Um, yeah, it'll I'm, be very interesting. What do you think? I'm going one one tie. Mm-hmm. Penalties, Leon's gonna take it. I'm predicting two penalty games in the quarterfinals. Oh man, it's gonna be a. It's gonna be hard, but. Hopefully it happens. It, it's going to be like a 3-1 Man City. Wow. 3-1 Man City. Like that, yeah, it could happen. It could it be 8-0 Man City. Um, but yeah. 3-1, 8 nothing would be the same thing for Man City. And I guess moving on to, you know, the real um, the real important league, at least for you yes, anyways. Europa League. <laughs> Europa, with, which right now has uh, Manchester United still on the 118th minute winning 1-0. Over Copenhagen, uh, Inter Milan beat uh, Bayer Leverkusen. Uh, tomorrow we have Shakhtar Donetsk versus Basel, where uh, Salah came from and destroyed mm-hmm. Chelsea a couple of years ago. <laughs> uh, we have uh, our boy Jimenez. We have Raúl Raúl Jimenez FC with Wolves uh, versus Sevilla. It's gonna be a really good game. Sevilla is not a team to just rule out. But Jimenez is on fire. Traor is a monster. Mm-hmm. And I think Wolves are going to end up taking it, reaching a semifinal of a very important tournament for that type of club. Uh, interesting stats, according to Google. Thank you, Google. Sevilla has only lost one of their eight knockout stage matches in major European yeah, competitions. They're, they're a tough English team when, they, when it comes to European soccer. They're yeah. well-known in Champions League, known in Europa League. Uh, they didn't do so hot, I believe, in La Liga this year. But... Can't rule them out. And then they're going to start super swole, Adama Traore. So that'll be interesting. So right now the only two, I mean, I'm pretty much going to call it, unless, I mean, unless anything, unless anything happens. You, man. Don't say I don't, anything like that. Don't say that. No, they're not scoring here. Bro. I hope. I hope Sergio Romero gets scored on, commits yeah, so, a giant so, so error. Inter enters through to the semifinals. Uh, they're on the other side of the bracket, so they wouldn't be playing Manchester United. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So they could see each other in the final, which would be a great final to watch. Oh, that would be great, and I th- honestly think uh, Inter would take that. Man U against Man U JB. Hey JB, wow! 
Yeah. Pero le tienen ganas. Uh, I mean, Sanchez Inter. is playing good. No, Lukaku is, is playing good. Ashley Young just scored a banger. Erickson like, knows how to how to play against the Premier League teams. Uh, who's and he's playing really good. Lights out. Yeah, oh, I mean, what an idiot, Copenhagen. Yeah, we just saw the other team mess it up. Here comes Lingard. Wow, superstar. Lingard, super Lingard. <laughs> this is the only time he scores. Last minute, when everyone's gas, he's faster than everyone. Well, yeah, that's the only reason you still keep him. But yeah, um, I mean, the Europa League in itself is it's a European competition. I hope Man U takes it just so we can say, you know, we won silver where this season. It wasn't a f- complete failure. Of a and I, and that's exactly why. Place. That's exactly why I want you guys to lose it. I mean, if we lose it, we still had a better season than Chelsea. Yeah. Um, and I guess kind of staying over in Europe, uh, we'll just move it on up to a couple of transfers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Pirlo, Andrea Pirlo, the great Andrea Pirlo has replaced Mauro Sari for Juventus for next season. So it's interesting because Pirlo was barely manager of the under-23 team for Juve. Yeah, like a couple of weeks, week. right? Yeah, yeah, a couple of weeks. And now he has been given the role to manage Juventus, which not only has Cristiano Ronaldo, but also has 39-year-old uh, Buffon. Su compa, who like, that's is be older, weird. one year older than Pirlo. So it's pretty funny that your coach is older than you. But, uh, but I, what do you think about that? Like, I like it. It's, we're getting to a, a point in time in soccer for us mm-hmm. where the players that we grew up watching are now becoming managers. You got Mikel Arteta at Arsenal. Mm-hmm. You got Zidane at Real Madrid. Lampard. Uh, Lampard at Chelsea. Ole used to play for Man U, but mm-hmm. I mean, you don't really think Ole for Man U, you know, but it's working out. Uh, you got Gattuso being a manager over at Napoli. Uh, dude, it's, it's, it's a mean, great time. Yeah, I, and here's, but here's the thing. Here's my hesitation because, I mean, they're largely, he's largely unproven. And and to be given such a large role to because it's it, it's not just easy to walk in and, and to be mm-hmm. a manager because even yeah. Lampard had to manage uh, Derby County the little sheep look at Juki look at Gerard um, there he's been handling uh, Rangers right he, yeah Rangers Malaverga I mean but still you start out with the club like yeah that. yeah like a lower like tier Zidane, Zidane coached uh, Real Madrid B Zidane is for is a while one yes but even then he still don't have the experience Zidane's one of been one of the people that's proven me wrong but, but that I team still he had. holy shit exactly even now it's a team that yeah. he inherited they, they, they needed they needed mm-hmm. somebody he came in and sure he fixed it or you know agreed, agreed. but I want to see him build his own team I want to see Zidane build his well, own that's team pretty much what he's kind of doing now. He's kind of doing it, but I want him. Modric. I want him to go to Manchester United. I want to see him build <sighs> a team like. I didn't want him there because I, I don't. I, I don't think Zidane is that great of yeah, a coach. And there we go. And so that's that's what we're talking about with Andrea Pirlo. Who I like seeing him in Madrid. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah, and, I, I'm and same he thing. finally won La Liga. You know, like a little bit of pressure off. Definitely, he's been winning trophies for Real Madrid. Madrid fans are nothing but happy with him. Yeah, uh, and they sh- they should be. Uh, I mean, so I mean, Pirlo could work, could not. Um, wow, what a clearance! It's kind of, it's kind. I hope it doesn't turn out like a Ryan Giggs thing because they gave Ryan Giggs uh, shit show United. They did, and that should have been. So it's like he should. Hmm. Ryan Giggs should have been after uh, Sir Alex. In my opinion, it'll be interesting what type of signing Pirlo tries to make. And it is over. Manchester and United advances. Let's get it. Um, but, yeah, also moving on to different transfers. Again, you were saying a little bit, uh, Alex Sanchez is already staying, but that was to make space. For Sancho. For Sancho. And you actually just read the, the president? Was it the president? It manager? was the pa, 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 el director de deportes, the director sporting of director, sporting director. Yeah. Sporting director. He pretty much said that he is staying. Um, I mean, honestly, it, it they wanted a lot of money for him. Deflated you because you I, were, yeah. you and your guys were really looking forward to getting uh, Sancho over into Manchester United back, yeah. bringing him back, as everybody was saying. And um, it did, it's not it's not looking likely at least this season, anyways. Uh, so he's only twenty years old, and then I guess his name is Zork. The quote was: "We plan on having Jadon Jaden Sancho in our team this season. The f- decision is final. I think that answers all our questions." Per Michael Zork, <laughs> Zork uh, from Borussia Dortmund's official. 
You know, you know what I think is going to happen? Last summer, sorry, last summer we adjusted Jaden's salary to match the development of his performance. So in context, we had already extended his contract until 2023 back then. Yeah, but you know what I think is going to happen? ¿Qué pasa? So Man U should, should still try to get a right winger. Mm-hmm. If they don't, I think they'll end up getting him in the, in the middle, like to January transfer. Uh-huh. Which... Uh, but it's going to be more expensive, man. Like, that's the thing. Like, no wonder they wanted so much money. Like, they, they, I think they wanted, what, like 120? Something like that? Yeah, around there. Um, yeah, so they, want, they wanted a, a big number for him. Man, you was not willing to pay. Here's what I don't understand. Manchester United is known for paying crazy amount of money for stupid players. Wow, you just called uh, Harry Maguire a stupid player. I, 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 my God, really? Like, Liverpool paid less for Van Dyke. I mean, they were just better at scouting, I guess. Especially when you have somebody like... Uh, I mean, I guess. Like, uh, what's his face? Jurgen Klopp. I'm just going to go ahead and so show anyways, you. Man, you're yeah. used to paying a lot of money for players. And now you have the chance to sign a top young talent from England. And you you don't sign him. You tell him that, no, he's too pricey. Are you kidding me? Uh, really? Just pay the money. That yeah, I mean that that's what we you have need to do. Him. We need him. Just that's, pay the money, man. He's that's what you have to do it. to compete now in Europe in soccer and world soccer. Spend the money. Yeah. Uh, somebody who did spend the money, however, for a winger, is Arsenal, uh, who have landed Chelsea. Let well, the, the contract ended, right? Let, yeah, the contract ended, but the, contract they, ended. so they but got them they're on a free, free signing. But they are paying they paid them a hundred k a year for three years. A hundred k, a hundred k a week. Listen, but listen to these William stats at Chelsea. For seven years, 339 games, five titles, uh, 239 Premier League games, two Premier League titles. Uh, he had 63 goals in total, 56 assists. Legend or not? I don't think legend. I don't think so either. I don't think so. Um, he, he had a great... He hates Tottenham. <laughs> yes, he hates Tottenham. That's great. He had a great career at Chelsea. I'll mm-hmm. give you guys that. Like It was a great signing at the time. Seven years. You guys... He's a, an example of a player that he could rely on. He gets Always. the job done. He surprised you with free kicks. Yeah, like he worked her worked at it yeah. for like a uh, one I mean, season and those yeah. seven years at, at Chelsea were really worth it for you guys. But you see, guys, here here's all we got coming in next year. Yeah. You got Werner, you got CJ. They were like that's a dang that's a dangerous duo right and there, then, man. And then add our uh stuff and Havertz, Havertz right there. Oh bro, oh, man. Yeah, I mean, Ooh. hopefully it doesn't doesn't happen like it's happening to Sancho for us. But I mean, I think I think Man U will try, probably try to go either on a loan for Garrett Bell, maybe try to get uh, Nares. Mm-hmm. Nares uh, from uh, Nares. There you go. Ajax. Uh, I I that, I actually like that guy. But uh, another player that surprisingly is going to the MLS, Blaise Matuidi. Uh, famously not in PSG from our uh, <laughs> community COVID shield because I kept calling some other... Yeah, I feel him too. Yeah, he's in Juventus. Asshole. He's in Juventus, and I mean, dude, <sighs> Sarri was not using him correctly. Yeah, he was using him as a winger, but that's a big signing for MLS. How, MLS, how old is Matuidi, dude? Mat- Matuidi is about... Let me go ahead and... You're going ahead and looking him up. Anyway, Matuidi is a really good signing. Even I don't think he's up there, up there. I think he would have been in the team with David Beckham He's over 33 in P- years old. Okay, I, in PSG. I, 33 years old. He's I, still a quality player. Yeah, like to go to go to Inter Miami, uh, Miami, Miami. Uh, Beckham's team. He's gonna be alongside Pizarro and some other talented players. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what Inter Miami, 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 Miami has and, to offer for the MLS next season. And I mean, speaking of MLS, the MLS's back cup is in its final stage of the championship game, which you Yo. did predict. Uh, Portland Timbers being in. Why did you choose Portland again? So the reason I chose Portland was I was curious to see how they were going to play uh, without fans. I know I'm not, I don't watch much of MLS. I know some some of our viewers don't either. You know, we all kind of the same. You're Mexican soccer, blah, blah, blah. But I know that they have a great fan base. Mm-hmm. So when you have a great fan base like that, you play great at home. But since you're not playing with fans now at a at a part that you're playing Mm -hmm. I was curious to see how well they were going to do and I picked them because they're a great team and my pick turned out to be right they're in the final 
Definitely. I thought I picked. Um, I had thought I picked fucking Estes, uh, Orlando. Orlando. Yeah, because of yeah, Nani. Dude, it's that was funny because so we were talking about it. We we're like, dude, our two picks made it to the final. And then I looked back at the clip and you said LAFC. I did say LAFC. I did you say. You did talk highly of Nani, though. I who remember that. Is just destroying. He scored the, a, a brace. Scored against, both goals. Against uh, Minnesota United. Um, but they're moving into the cup final, which is tomorrow. Uh, I still I think Orlando's going to take it because of Nani. I'm sticking with my pick. Port- Portland's right, going to take cool. it. Cool. There you go. Uh, and then. Since we're since we're still in the states, let's go ahead and talk about yet again. USL USL has canceled our SD Loyals game. Uh, obviously, good job, good for yeah. for stopping so it. There was a player from Las Vegas Lives that tested positive in their weekly testing. Um, but wait, they were already there, bro. I like, know. que maldita hueva, güey. Like no. to be first of all to be in Vegas they right flew now. There, right? Ugh. Did they fly there or did they drive? Um, I'm not sure. But even being in Vegas when I, you don't have to. I mean, yeah. you had to. But then turning around, having the game canceled on you, it's just a, uh, man, like, um, you know, we've uh, we've checked with some of the players and everybody's in good spirits and all. Um, good job on their part. Again, you don't want to necessarily blame anybody on, Ve- on Las Vegas Lights for, you know, doing anything wrong necessarily because it can literally happen at any point. Uh, what's so different and scary about this uh, pandemic and virus on its own. Uh, so hopefully everybody on that end is taken care of and healthy. But again, yeah. you know, moving on, I guess that's the second time it's happened this season. Some games have been postponed. Uh, you have Phoenix, who's just destroying teams. Dude, they they're destroyed. Shining, dude. They're scoring so many goals. Yeah, they scored. Uh, they destroyed New Mexico, uh, who has been playing really well. Uh, I know our guys over at Seek and Strike, uh, Chris, uh, has been following that. Chris also co-hosts the Fairweather Podcast. Shout out to you guys. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, this is one of the things where moving into OC, you you should be at some place in the season with certain amount of points or not. But this just throws a wrench in the game plan yet again because there's players that you would have played for Vegas that you would have rested otherwise because they just played against uh, somebody else. Uh, and, you know, it's it's – it has to be hectic um, moving over up and down. We did speak with Jesse, um, mm-hmm. the marketing director for the San Diego Loyal. And, you know, he gave us a little bit of insight as far as, like, how these things go down. Like, it's, you know, everything's super last minute, up and down. But I guess Wednesday, tomorrow. No. No, uh, they, they, I know, but well, t- t- it's going to come out the tomorrow. These, yeah, these guys, 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 come on, Jess. <laughs> um, tomorrow, Wednesday. Um. I don't know, because then I said play. the 10th. I know, but then I said the 10th in the intro. Anyway, Loyal do play tomorrow at Torero Stadium oh um, against Orange County, OC. What do you think? Are we going to play? First of all, are we going to play this game? Yeah, I think I think it is going to get played out. Yeah. Um, as the Loyal and a lot of other things have done a really good job at making sure the players are staying COVID-free, I guess you could say. Mm-hmm. Uh, taking necessary precautions and... Again, everyone should be doing that. Oh, oh, oh no. Nah, I'm just playing. Uh, but, yeah, this game's going to get played out. Uh, it's going to be – it's a key, key key game. Key game in the group stage. Yeah. Because uh, Loyal is no longer – can't afford to lose this one. Yeah, because Loyal is no longer in first place after, you know, Phoenix caught up with their games at hand and the which way that they've been sense. playing, which makes sense. But um, Loyal was not predicted to be first. Loyal was actually predicted to not is predicted right, to not even make right, playoffs, right? So, who the hell predicts? That's the thing. Who the hell predicts something that they don't know that they haven't seen? Anyway, uh, I th- I think uh, San Diego Loyal is going to go ahead and tie actually two two um, two two. I'm I'm going to go two-two. with the uh, see. I want to say three goals for Loyal, but they they're not playing. The type of soccer to be scoring three goals. Yeah, no. I'm gonna go with the zero zero draw. What the matter? Yeah. Um, I, I know. I know. I, I hope it's like a interesting how we both said draws four win. I'm a little bit more hopeful that we'll see some action, but uh, if it's the, way, the way it's zero. been the way it's been playing out, man. I don't see either team scoring because Loyal's defense is gonna be great. I think it might be a pretty like difficult game to watch as a Loyal fan. Uh, yeah, I think I think Orange, uh, who are we playing? OC? Orange County. Orange County. 
I'm like, oh, see, Orange County, it's a uh, pretty, uh, pretty good attacking team. Uh, we have probably the best goalkeeper in the league. Yeah, John Kempen. Shout out, John. So, um, shout out, Jake Fenlinson, who got married over the weekend. Nice. Congrats, dude. Um, I don't know, man. Like, here's the thing. Like, it's. I, I don't want to say it, but if they keep drawing like zero zero, like if they're really talking about getting everybody engaged, the city into it, loving it, yeah, they this is what's going to start hurting. This yep. project is mm-hmm. not necessarily not getting results, but not getting the results that the average fan is going to get excited about. They're not playing attractive football. They're really not an attractive attacking football. If you're a defensive minded player, then you see the schemes, you see the. The hard work that's getting put in it, um, but I, I feel like something has to start happening creatively. Otherwise, you're going to start risking people tuning out. Because look, yeah, and we'll get there in a bit. Here in San Diego, the Padres are doing amazing. Uh, Basketball is back. Um, you know, other leagues around the world are in their playoff stages. The MS, uh, MLS is about to end, um, but you know, you need to start having and <laughs> hand hard knocks is going to start coming back. Mm-hmm. So. NFL is starting to creep around, so you guys, you know, come on, let's let's see some let's see some uh, see some goals, guys. Let's see some uh, golazos um, and consistent play, and hopefully we can come back with a win against Orange County. Uh, and then the last soccer thing, it's a very soccer heavy episode, football heavy episode. Um, can la we super, skip this? Las super chivas, uh, yeah, perdieron con el Puebla. Lost against Puebla, who uh, do really good uh, mole. <laughs> uh, so this is a game that Chivas is not supposed to lose. They're 0-3, 0-0-3, because they haven't tied a single game either. Three losses in a row. They finally fired their coach, Tena, who should have been fired before the season even started. Uh, I like the guy they're trying to bring in, Busetich. I like it. I, I mean, he is well respected. No, I, I've actually one of the coaches that I said that if, if Chivas was to get and they give him time, I'll, I'll dedicate some time to Chivas because honestly, they haven't given mm-hmm. me a reason to. I mean, you have Jota Jota Macias. So I'm like, all right, started to get, Who's, but this was who out. Probably, this was, he yeah, probably yeah. played his last game against Puebla. Yeah, There's exactly. The, I mean, apparently Real Sociedad offered 15 million. He's still saying his rumors or not, whatever. I, I don't think he'll play. Uh, next weekend, I think he probably will be announced as a Real Sociedad player this yeah. week. If not, we'll get to use him again for another weekend game. But and I'm down for that. He wants to go. He wants to go to Europe. He deserves it. He's 19 years old. He is the next big thing for Mexico. I've been saying it for a while. Other than that, it's Jimenez right now. And after that, who do you have? Can't think That's of it. anyone, right? Yeah, Oribe so, Travis. No, it's Macias. <laughs> it's Macias' turn. He's gonna go to the World Cup uh, in 2022. Jimenez is probably gonna be the starter. Yeah. But Macias is going to be like, oh, sub in player. He scores. We win. Oh, my God. You got to keep starting him. Blah, blah, blah. No, you want to know how this is going to go? Oh, man. Raul is going to get subbed out for Chicharito. Yeah, Macias is not going to get any minutes. He's probably. Not. <sighs> no, dude. I don't even think Chicharito is going to go to the World Cup. Uh, he has one in it. He has one left. He I has guess. one left, but. <sighs> and, and they're going to. It really depends who the coach is. If we still have Tata Martino, he's, Chicharito is not going to that World Cup. Mm-hmm. I guarantee you that. Even if he's killing in the MLS, he's not going to get called up. Bringing Javier Aguirre, I guess. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. No. Might as well bring Hugo Sanchez, dude. I'm down. Have, really? him, have him control all of the Mexican Las Horrible. Olimpiadas. Have Hor- him control. Probably la- one of the wait, worst wait, managers wait, the selection wait. ever had. Have him, have, have him lead the La Femenil, way. Just, bro, nah, like, dude. just Whereas, give him everything. He's a better dentist. Everything. He's a better dentist than he is a coach. Fun fact, he actually lives here in San Diego. He's a, he's a dentist, too. Okay. He's better at pulling out teeth than being a coach. I mean, if he only won that big campeonato with Pumas, first of all, because they had a dope team. Yeah, put that away, dude. I mean, it, it, it's, it's. We're talking about Chivas right now. So, yeah, Wait, Chivas lost. They're 0, 0 and 3. Uh, nobody wants those gatitos here. Ooh, but, yeah, it was a teach. Hopefully, he manages to do something differently. Uh, if you start Antuna, I've been saying Antuna should be playing on the left side. Keep Brissell on the right because Brissell on the right side is a monster. I, I would like to see Antuna play on the left because he likes to cut in a lot. He's better with the right leg than he is with the left. So it makes sense for him to be on the left to cut in, take the shot. 
Uh, if Macias leaves, it's going to be up to Angel Saldivar or Ronaldo Cisneros to scoring goals, which is probably going to be Saldivar. Hopefully he has a great season, but I don't think he's that talented. And what else can I say about Chivas? I mean, we're playing Chicote now instead of Ponce, which is great on the left back position. We still got Chapito on the right. Uh, Sepulveda, who's a future of center backs for Mexico as well. Uh, we still got El Portero de Cristo. Um, we got Beltran, who still is COVID, I think, positive, who has not been able to play, mm-hmm. who is probably our, he's one of the best center defensive mids in the Mexican league right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, Angulo, who was benched this last week. And Alexis Vega, who has not returned yet either, who we really need him to be able to win games. What else? Uh, did I miss anything? Do you feel better? Hopefully. Hopefully things turn around. So I'm tired of seeing Cruz Azul win. I think that's it. <sighs> Thank you. Uh, moving into the NBA and Le Bubble. The bubble over in Orlando. Uh, Los Lakers clinched the number one seed in the West. They did beat the Clippers in their matchup, barely, uh, barely beating the Clippers. So I think every team has about two games left. Some mm-hmm. from playing it today, some playing it today, uh, some playing the next couple of days. It all ends, I think, on Friday. Okay. And so we have, uh, I mean, the Lakers who didn't steamroll the Clippers like everybody thought because, look, we had Lou Will out. We had uh, Montrezl who's going to come back as a monster. And just destroy everything in sight. I mean, the Clippers are scared of the Lakers. No, we're not. Yes, you are. You no, know, you know how I can tell. Paul George and Patrick Beverly really want Damian Lillard to make the playoffs as an eight seed because they're probably the best team with the best chance to defeat the Lakers after the Clippers. I'm talking about the teams fighting for eight seed. So, yeah, Memphis, Portland, mm-hmm. San Antonio, and Phoenix fighting yeah. for the eight seed. Yeah. Out of those teams, Portland is the team with the best chance at beating the Lakers in the first round. Wouldn't that be something mellow? Taking out LeBron. That's what I'm saying. That's why Beverly and PG yeah. have been talking shit to Lillard. Yeah. Lillard missed two uh, game-winning free throws. He missed them. Came back, dropped 51.7 assists the, the, the next day. Lillard is an elite point guard. I love Lillard because of this. He's staying with Portland. He called out Paul George saying, this guy's moving teams. Uh, he can, he's not afraid to put in the work that it takes to carry a team like I'm doing. Props to Damian Lillard. And props to uh, Phoenix Suns' Devin Booker, who delivered a dagger against the Clippers. Um, so just- Devin Booker has been probably the best basketball player in the bubble since mm-hmm. we came back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so the Pelicans are no longer in the running. They're Valero eliminated. Madre, so wait, Valero, so I don't even I mean, know why they Sion, <sighs> disappointment. He was playing like, good. He wasn't go? getting. He wasn't getting minutes. I, he was on a limit. Uh, a minute lo- limit, but mm-hmm. um, even then, like, why? Like, Lonzo's why even stats go? are horrible in, Terrible. in the bubble. Terrible. Uh, so yeah, so they they're out. Uh, Memphis, you know, Ja Morant. We talked about it. Ja, who's a beast, probably rookie of the year. Yeah. By far. And we had the Suns actually beating Thunder today, which is great because that's put them at 32 wins, I believe, mm-hmm. which is one behind Memphis and one behind Portland. And, I mean, those of you who didn't know we know this much basketball, now you uh, know. The Raptors are actually going to be a top four team, and they're going to go ahead and be the dark horse for a lot of people. And yeah. a lot of people say that they might even take Giannis out and take the East and play against the Clippers in the championship. The, yeah, the Raptors are playing great. Yeah. Uh, watch out for the Mavericks, too. The Mavericks uh, can play some dangerous ball, man. Yeah, we just beat the Mavs. Um, Luke, Luke, Luka Donic, man, beating Doncic. the Jazz. Uh, it's going to be fun to watch. It's yeah. fun to watch. Uh, I've, I've heard that it's... against the Nets today. It's a yesterday. lot. They did. Um, I mean, we're, we're Yeah, fine. they haven't we're really fine. been playing the starters. Yeah. Um, Neither has the Lakers. Load management. Yeah. Load fine. management. That's all we need. And, um, I mean, I think we're going to go ahead and close it on out with some baseball because baseball is How still about happening. Tatis, Look. man? 
Fernando Tatis Jr. is the most exciting player in baseball. So exciting that even you know who Fernando Tatis is. And es I un crack, el Tatis. Es un, God damn it. Um, es un crack, wey. Yes. And so this guy is a superstar in the making. He's already a superstar. He's... Crack to uh, los cracks, wey. God damn it. Yes, he's super young, and he's hitting all the home runs. I showed you a comparison between Derek six, Jeter. Six for six in the last six games. Oh. Wow. Tell me more. Uh, Tatis, who is a 21-year-old uh, shortstop rookie last year, who arguably could have uh, been – he was in the running for rookie of the year last year. He ended in third place because of his injuries. Uh, but, wow. I mean, he is a rookie, a sensational rookie who's wow. – I mean, normally they don't start at 20 years old. Normally they go to uh, double-A ball or triple-A ball and then often move up to the MLB at around the age 23, 24, maybe 25 is a stretch. Uh, but, like – Depending uh, on the position. Pete Depending. Alonso, like for the Mets, uh, who won Rookie of the Year last year at the age of 24, he's more of your average age rookie, you know. But Tatis, who's a monster, he's 21 years old. You don't really see this in MLB, guys. You don't see a young, talented star like this. And the question is, will the Padres be able to pay this man with Machado on the roster? What's going on? <laughs> what, the uh, hell? what do you think? Are, are, are the Padres <laughs> going to be able to pay him Tatis after the rookie contract is up? Um, I don't. I don't watch that much baseball. I guess. Um, what, what, uh, wow. You tell me. You tell me. I, I don't. I don't know. Will Tati? Does Tatis love San Diego that much that he he's willing to work something out with the Padres? I think so. Tatis is going to be uh, probably one of the best, or maybe number two best Padre player of all time if he stays his entire career here. Tatis is showing that he is the man in his first 100 games he went ahead and had uh, 30 home runs something that the likes of Derek Jeter only had about 5 or 6 and even uh, Estebato A-Rod uh, Jennifer Lopez's husband um, was a prospect and he was playing at 18 in the majors and he only had um, I think like 16 or 17 home runs in his first 100 games Tatis is doing something just amazing lead off home runs after lead off home runs um, it, I mean there's really nothing else to talk about because baseball-wise, around the country, games are getting canceled. Uh, the Cardinals, St. Louis, I know we talked about it last week. They had a game canceled. They also had another series canceled. And then this week's series got postponed slash canceled. It's a goddamn mess. But the Padres are doing well. They beat. Um, they have the Dodgers again this week. So today they started a series of four. What do you think about your Dodgers? Yeah, it's, it's, it's the Dodgers. They're, they're your average Dodgers, man. They're going to win some games. They're going to lose some games. They're always going to make playoffs. You know, they're going to run They're gonna run their uh, division. And, man, I, I really hope they don't make the World Series this year. Oh, okay. This, this tournament doesn't really count. Well, well. And anyone that wins it is going to say they count. Everyone else is going to say it doesn't count. So what if you guys win it? <laughs> then it I mean, counts. <laughs> dude, they should, they should have won it last year, but we got cheated out of it. I guess. You, you just should have cheated harder, I guess, right? Man, I guess. To be, to be fair, the cheaters are getting uh, plunked and thrown at and, and destroyed. So, um, overall, it's one of the things that is uh, – man, it's the best thing in baseball right now. Can, can we talk about uh, Laureano, though, joining the Joe Kelly Club, man? Yes. Let's, this, let's, guy, this guy let's went at out. it and he threw punches at the Astros, which, I mean, as a baseball <laughs> fan, I love, man. It's fantastic to see, man. Ramon Fuck the Lariano. Astros. Say it with me. Ramon Laureano from the Oakland A's. Yes. He got hit, man. He got hit three times. <laughs> he was not afraid, man. He went out. Ah, the dugouts cleared this out. This is actually great. <laughs> oh, man, dude. Oh. Ah, dude, it's amazing. Baseball's the best sport in America, man. Absolutely. Gosh. It's the greatest sport. It's the greatest pastime. I don't think anything else compares to it's it. It's like apple pie, man. Like apple pie and, and the Cowboys. Uh, I mean, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 I mean, do you want to talk about more baseballs? Here, you earned this, buddy. That's a good job. <sighs> um, so, oh, what's man. up, Trevor? I'm so excited, man. Have you seen this shit, Trevor? So far, it's been a great season for the Padres, Jeez. man. Um, yeah, it has been. Uh, any any Anything... Any other? Ba- uh, I'm I'm shocked. I'm like I, I we were not necessarily planting this. I talked to you a little bit about it in the morning, but the 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 words that just came hey, out of your hey, mouth, man. Are you okay? The words that came out of your mouth right now were absolutely 
I'm awestricken. It's like whenever you see like the Grand Canyon for the first time, it's like I've never seen the Grand Canyon, so I don't know why I said that. It's like wow, just like it's said that whenever you meet, when you, whenever you see the face of God, it's just um, <laughs> you're just you're just speechless and can't even put it into words because that's how great this entity is. Hey man, you you're, told me you told me get into baseball. We got to talk baseball, dude. I'm, this is me trying. Uh, I, I, me trying. I don't care, dude. Wow, uh, those baseball fans that were that, that are talking out there. Shit. <laughs> I got you guys, man. Thank those you. Those of you who voted no for baseball, give it a try, like me, man. Hey guys, thought this is the real deal, guys. Absolutely. Yeah. If you guys want to get watch baseball, just watch Ronaldo that he's playing. He's having as much fun as a as a kid is in the Little League World Series, and he's getting production against grown men and making him look foolish. And I guess that's what the uh, whole Lamar Jackson thing movement is, right? Like this dude is making grown men miss and Patis is making grown men pay. And, and you know, it's, it's great to see on the field, anything else, baseball related, uh, Mr. Baseball. Ah, man, just ah, fuck the Astros, man. I Shit. love it. I love it. Straight fuck up, fuck the Astros. Yeah. And then we're going to go ahead and just finish it off with a little bit of NFL. I'm just shocked. That was, something um hard knocks is coming back tomorrow whose house wow ram's house knock 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 on the wood if if you're with me um last year but this year they're gonna have two teams they have the rams and they have the san diego i mean only because sharing a stadium san diego whoa the los angeles hey buddy don't disrespect our city like that Gosh, y'all don't even know what a California burrito is up there. So, I straight up. So, man, if you're from LA, uh, you're from LA. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, but anyway, so NFL films and uh, HBO pretty much launch launch an F1 formula like um, <laughs> documentary series. Wow, I'm gonna learn so much about F1 that I was gonna shock Tony. I I I would love for that to happen. Um, <laughs> Fuck off. Anyway. I'm already trying with baseball. I know. You seem <laughs> awful exhausted after just learning a little bit about it. Um, just watch the postseason. If- bro, bro, I'm all in in this season, bro. <laughs> okay. This is the season to watch for me. Yeah. 60 the games. Shortest, shortest <laughs> season. That's why. <laughs> um, There's no better time. But, I mean, NFL might not even have a season because, look, baseball, you guys are spread apart. You can throw on a ball. It's, it's relatively safe. Soccer, I guess you're touching each other here and there, but it's, yeah. there's still open air space and stuff. No, football is every single play. You are like lathered in somebody else's sweat, blood, and tears. Um, it, I don't know how something like that's going to happen. I I hear from what I've been reading, there's there's actually a lot of people that are optimistic within the NFL and outside of the NFL. Like, wow, they might actually pull this off. You see, the the thing that everyone's worried about is. Will I have a fantasy football this year? Uh, I I am definitely not worried about that. I'm worried about having a uh, grandparents for the rest of this year. Um, hopefully they stay with us and everybody's grandparents stay with us. Uh-huh. Um, so, hey, hey, I'm missing a half too. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> that's fun. Jeez, that uh, that that took hurt, a turn. Hurt, that took hurt, a man. turn. Jesus Christ! Don't bring up your hands, um, man. Oh man! Well, they were so, brought, they were brought hard down. Knocks. God damn it! It's tomorrow, right? <laughs> yes, it's tomorrow. Um, so it's weird. It's such on a Tuesday, but it's we're one month away from the official uh, start of the season. It's only sixty nine players in total, and the with, NFL with opted no out preseason with no preseason. So it's going to be. I don't. I don't even know. Again, I don't know what to expect. This is going to be a completely different season. As far as preseason should have pretty much started this week. Yeah. Uh, so as far as hard hard knocks goes, they're going to have. You know, they have just an equipment for circus coming into. Um, whatever facility, facilities they're going to go ahead and cover. I mean, I know uh, Sean McBay say the Rams will have some scrimmages, which I'm assuming some other teams will have as well. I mean, uh, would it just scrimmage against the Chargers? I mean, that'd be the safest thing, right? Yeah, and, and, and that's that's the thing. Like, if that's not what we see, then we'll probably see fireworks between them because they're going to be tired of playing each other in preseason or mm-hmm. in, in scrimmages. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing exactly what the dynamic is with Terod Taylor, his – See, there's a lot of two timers here because Hard Knocks has already had the Rams uh, in previous seasons with 
uh, Jared Goff as a rookie. So now he's, he knows what to expect. He knows what it's going to be about, something that the Chargers majority don't know what it's going to be about, except mm-hmm. for Terrell Taylor, who was also on hard knocks in the season that Baker Mayfield came in. He started that season and famously got injured, replaced by Baker Mayfield midseason, and now he's just you know marauding around as a backup for Phillip Rivers, who is now in Indianapolis. So it's his second time around. But I don't know what I don't know what so, I'm looking for. I I actually learned that Tyra Taylor is to Rod to Rod Taylor. My bad is the uh, Chargers' first ever African American starting quarterback. Yeah, definitely. It, and I mean, you could say the same thing about Cam Newton and the Patriots. But yeah, so it's yeah. the first first ever uh, African American starting quarterback. Let's see how long it lasts because I don't. It's I 2020 don't. and we're saying stuff like that. First African American. Well, I mean, it's, this is coming out of a league that has something called the Rooney Rule, where you had to interview African an African American or a minority for a position. Wow, uh, wow, you're real natural with that baseball. Um, but yeah, so that's going to go ahead and start tomorrow. Uh, we'll talk about it now. Next week's episode, what we saw, what we like, what we didn't like. What I mean, it's just your team. This is your. Los Angeles Rams, so... Yeah, I'm a little worried. About... Sucking. You guys are going to suck? So it's it's interesting because it's going to be two okay. sucky okay, teams. Okay, so, man, you never know. Jared Goff could come out and probably have the season of his life and throw the ball so great to Robert Woods and Cooper Cup. Mm-hmm. And you never know. A rookie running back could end up having a rookie season like Camara and ball out. You're not you believing never your own know. shit. You're not believing Aaron Donald is still a monster on defense, and we still yeah. got Jalen Ramsey. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, dude, it's not, You're not a bad team. You're not believing it. You're not, it's you, not a bad team. It's a fourth place in, in your division is what it is. <sighs> Maybe third. Maybe third. Maybe third. We're making playoffs. Okay. All right. That's enough. I think uh, we're going to go ahead and just uh, – have it that be hard out just because make sure you guys tune into that Padres man Tati's is playing great ball and shout out to Tacos El Vaquero over on 3rd Avenue yeah, yeah shout out to them shout out to Soccer Shot on uh, H Street and I mean J Street, J Street and, and Broadway 740 Fierce Beats producer of this 10, beat 10% off two balls mention two balls I shook I'm Tony, guys. Shocked. I, shook I am Tony. shocked. Uh, look out for our Zoom meeting, right? Yeah. Wednesday, Wednesday during the game, before the game, 30 minutes before the game. Uh, check us out. Instagram, two balls and a mic. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, we have a website. If you made it this far, good job. I did see people. Some, somebody showed up on the website. Nice. Uh, www.twoballsandamike.com. Um, check us out on there. Let us know if you guys want to see anything, talk about anything, any questions. We did a live. You washed my car. That was fun. Uh, Appreciate it. Catch you guys later. Play ball.